Hello, this is Shan Chandrasekhar welcoming you to another delightful part of our programming. As a part of ATN's tribute to 100 years of Indian cinema, we brought you some of the topmost Bollywood film personalities, movie stars, uh, music directors, producers, directors, playback singers, and we are now delighted to present the famous duo, Vishal Shekhar. We had the pleasure of bringing you Vishal earlier. Now we have the pleasure of bringing you the other half, Shekhar. Shekhar Ravjiani. Shekhar, what a pleasure. So, what a pleasure to be here. Uh, welcome again to Toronto. Welcome to ATN. Thank you so much. Thank you. Our hearty congratulations to you. Many of your films have been absolutely top box office hits now. You've created quite a sensation, quite a history, won many awards. Let's start off with your recent awards. I guess it started off with Jankar Beats absolutely. for you. That was the R.D. Berman Award. Yeah. Jankar Beats actually gave us the, the Filmfare R.D. Berman Award. And for us, during those days, we're not from the film family. Mm -hmm. So when we started off, we were, you know, more into that advertising kind of space, used to a lot of ads for films and then came Pyar Me Kabhi Kabhi where we did a few songs on that. And then that's the film we decided, Vishal and I decided that we'll start working together. And then Jankar Beats happened and then it was a whole new kind of feeling for us being invited to an award function. Mm -hmm. So it was, a, it was kind of a weird feeling altogether. You know, you watch it on television and then suddenly you'll be invited for one of them. And um, um, I was there, Vishal couldn't make it, so I, I, I went there for Filmfare Awards and first of all I was like a little uh, shocked to see, um, you know, a lot of these film industry people and uh, you know, seeing them for the first time now, by the grace of God, I know all of them personally, but seeing them and, uh, you know, feeling the whole sensation of being, sitting next to a few of them was, was something else and seeing the Filmfare Awards which I've been watching on television since many, many years and then they said the best R.D. Berman Award, Filmfare Award goes to Vishal and Shekhar for, wow. um, you know, uh, for uh, uh, Jankar Beats. So that was a beautiful feeling altogether. I went up on stage and I was like, uh, I didn't know what to say. I was totally numb. And Tell me about the advantage in being a singer and a composer. Uh, well, the advantage of being a, a singer and a composer is uh, it's just it's just a blessing from God. Mm -hmm. um, the, the first thing is that uh, my father, um, Hasmukh Bhai, uh -huh. um, he actually, um, the reason I know anything about music is because of him. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, he was a student of Gudi Sirvai. Uh -huh. Gudi Sirvai used to play with Mukesh Ji. Oh, wow. And uh, uh, Raj Kapoor Saab, they used to all have right. jam sessions together. Right. So when Mukesh Ji came to uh, Bombay for the first time, he stayed with my grandfather. Wow. At Chopati. Wow. And, um, and then he got introduced to Gudi Sirvai and then Gudi Sirvai started teaching my father the accordion. So accordion mm -hmm. was a hobby for dad. Right. So when I was growing up, I used to, you know, watch him play and then he set up a piano in the house and then uh, learned playing the piano, started learning Indian classical vocals. Okay. I learned from Ustad Niyazam Khan Saab. Wow. And um, Jagjit Singh was a very close family friend. Wow. So he taught me for a few years. And um, there wasn't any plan because I'm from a business family. So there's no, there was no plan of getting into the music industry or something, but I was just doing, I was doing it passionately. I was like putting my heart and soul into it. While all of my other friends were partying and having a good time, I was sitting and making music at home. Well, that's fantastic. You did so, the right uh, thing. You know, yeah, otherwise, so the world would have lost a great, great uh, composer, <laughs> musician, and performer. I started making music not knowing what's going to happen, and, but enjoying every single process which I was creating for myself. Good for you. A friend of mine came home one day and said, um, what are you doing with this music? You should, you should do ads or mm -hmm. you should do film music. Mm -hmm. And I was like, but I don't know anyone from this field, uh -huh. except Jagjit Ji, who's mm -hmm. uh, a ghazal singer. And, yeah. uh, and I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. I feel I should finish my learning process. Yeah. He said, but you're really good. You should at least try. Let, let, allow me to try. So I was like, okay, go ahead. So I took a tape of mine, went to Mr. Mukul Anand, mm -hmm. who was making a film called Das back uh -huh. then. Uh -huh. And um, um, Mukul heard my stuff and immediately called me up. And he said, Shekhar, I want to meet you right now. Mm -hmm. So I went to meet him. I recorded two songs for Das, that, which didn't actually come out. But did two songs for him, then I started doing all his ads mm -hmm. under his company called Mad Films. Uh -huh. So 
did about 100, 125 ads. My God. Hmm. Yeah, and immediately after that, his assistant Raj Kaushal was making Pyar Me Kabhi Kabhi. Uh -huh. And Raj said, Shekhar, I want you to sing and compose a song for me. Uh -huh. So that was Dil Se Mere Dur Na Jana. Wow. Uh -huh. And there are two songs I made in that film. Wow. Uh -huh. Then I came to know Vishal was working on the same film, so both of us, I, I was doing day shifts and he was doing the night shift. Uh -huh. So one evening after I finished, he, uh, we met. Uh -huh. and he was like, hey, what are you guys, you know, what, what are you doing here? He's, uh -huh. he's like, man, I'm working on this film called Pyar Me Kabhi Kabhi. Uh -huh. So I was like, so am I. Uh -huh. He said, come on, let's play each other, you know, our music, what we've created. We heard each other's stuff and we were like, man, that, this is damn cool, we should start working together. Shekhar, can you just hum that for us? The song which I made for yeah. Pyar Me Kabhi Kabhi? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Dil se mere dur na jana Dil se mere dur na jana Tum meri zindagi Let's come to the latest now. Chennai Express yeah. was a big box office hit and yeah. you know, needless to say, primarily we think that that movie became very successful because of your music. What you did in that, in that every piece, every song was great in that yeah. because every, every one of the songs yeah. became a hit. Yeah. So tell me about that experience and, and the award again as well. But first of all, several of your movies that you have done music for, they've been nominated. Even to be nominated is an honor and some have actually won the awards as well. So tell us about this. Well, uh, talking about Chennai Express first, um, Rohit Shetty, after we did this film called Golmal, the uh -huh. first film, uh -huh. um, because of our um, work commitments, we couldn't do his Golmal 2 and Golmal 3. And so every now and then when I used to meet him, he was like, Shekhar, when are you giving me time? We have to work on something. And then came, you know, after two, three films which he directed, he said, Abhi to meri Chennai Express to karle. I said, chal done. You know, we'll, we'll get that done. We'll get you the dates. We'll just make sure that it's all finalized. And we went for the script reading. This is the kind of script reading I've never, never seen. Mm -hmm. It was the most hilarious, mm -hmm. the most hilarious, beginning to end. Uh -huh. What was there on the script is exactly what you see on, on screen. Right. I died laughing. <laughs> and he told me the situations and he told me how everything is happening. And there were these two guys who've actually uh, written the screenplay of the film and they were uh, narrating it and also enacting uh, Shah Rukh Khan when his parts come in. So it was damn funny. and. There was a lot of energy, a lot of, uh, Rohit is a very, very cool guy. He's, he's got a lot of energy in him, very happy guy, he's never stressed. Um, so I like working with such people. I like people who are smiling all the time. I like, I like that energy. Wonderful. And that pushes you to uh, give out that kind of music, you know what I'm saying? So that, that really helped. And Chennai Express had a lot of variety of uh, genres in it. Exactly. Like Kashmir, mein tu Kanya Kumari. Kashmir, right. Kashmir, Titli. It was quite in there, the one, two, three, four, get on the dance floor. One, two, three, four, get on the dance floor. The most special song was Mr. Bala Subramaniam's song. Oh, SP, which was? Uh, Chennai Express title Oh, track. right, 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 right. We right. went to Chennai to record his uh, uh, voice out oh, there. I, I see, I see. We recorded, uh, we uh, booked a studio in Chennai and Mr. Bala Subramaniam came in and very senior guy, very respected guy and I love his voice. Mm -hmm. From the time he's been singing in Bollywood films, also right. his Tamil films and Tamil yeah. and Telugu soundtracks yeah. he sung for. And I was like, Mr. Bala Subramaniam is here. Mm. He went behind the mic. And it's, it's a very cool up song, the title track yeah. of Chennai Express. Yeah. And he effortlessly, bang on pitching, one take. But he learned properly. He said, you give me one hour. Fantastic. I will learn this. He was sitting alone, Fantastic. recorded everything, yeah. he heard it. Let's take. Masala ho simple na piri complex. कुछ भी हो पंगा न हो डिप्रेस अरे प्रॉब्लम से दरे तरीका न न न न दरे 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 अरे टिकट खरीद के बैठ जा सीट पे निकल न जाए कहीं चेन्नई एक्सप्रेस टिकट खरीद के बैठ जा सीट पे निकल न जाए कहीं चेन्नई एक्सप्रेस फंटास्टिक वेल व्हेन यू स्टार्टेड दिस एक्चुअली यू इवन हैड द सेम टोन एस आई कैन डू दैट आई कैन डू दैट दैट इज फंटास्टिक यू नो आई आई स्टिल रिमेंबर सिंग दैट सॉन्ग ऑफ साजन मेरा दिल भी कितना पागल है I love his voice texture. He's got Absolutely. such a beautiful voice. He's a great singer. So we, we designed the song only for yeah. Sir, for yes. SPB Sir. Tell me now about the one, two, three, four, get on the dance floor. Yeah. Okay, Just, you know, do the first line for us. One, two, three, four, get on the dance floor. Booty shake, booty shake, tapangu to heart kar. Shoulder hitching, mitching, body hitching, mitching. Gimme, 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 gimme some more. 
fully <laughs> cracked mad song Fantastic. which was which was required for the energy of uh, this thing we'll go on to i hate love stories yeah. it was nominated for an award as well yeah. so tell us about that puneet malhotra uh -huh. um he basically is one of the directors at uh, dharma productions right very very um, very young a lot of fun very hard working boy right. who puts in a lot of effort while he's writing his scripts or putting right. his film in i hate love stories was his first film and um, uh, when karan told us about this uh, about puneet and so we met up with him and for us it's very important to kind of be on the same wavelength with the director sure have a lot of fun basically right. that's how music is made right you know right and he's he's one of those kind of guys who actually believes in his technicians so puneet believes uh, believed in us doing music for the film and we made sure we put in our best um, like every single song of i hate love stories is still plays on radio right. still on the charts right. whether it's bin tere right whether whether it's i hate love stories or right. whether it's baharaz uh -huh. so every all all these songs are, are playing and uh, the most uh, again like anjana anjani this right. is, i hate love stories comes in the in the list of uh, films which are really appreciated musically that's fantastic just hum the first line of bin tere for me please my version or shafkat's version your version my version okay teri nigah ke teri hi raah ke qareeb se gayi zindagi tujhe kyu dekha na tujhe kyu jana na shikayat karu ya nahi थमी है ये सांसें भरी है ये आंखें सहू कैसे अब ये फासला बिन तेरे बिन तेरे बिन तेरे आहा कोई खलिश है हवाओं में बिन तेरे ओ बिन तेरे बिन तेरे बिन तेरे आहा koi khalish hai hawaon mein bin tere beautiful beautiful my, my version was not supposed to be there in the oh. thing at all um we we just finished recording the main bin tere song uh -huh. which shafkat sang sorry right. they sang beautifully right and just as soon as the session was over i was just like sitting down everyone had left the studio uh -huh. puneet had left he had uh -huh. heard the song was very happy uh -huh. so i just took the guitar and i started Singing. What if the same words were on a different composition altogether? Right. Just for fun. Right. So I made this, and I f felt really nice. There's something really sweet I felt about it. Right. So I called Puneet. I said, Puneet, you want to just come by and just hear something? Right. We we don't need to like kind of use it in the film right. or on the audio. Right. But this is something. What if bin tere bin tere koi khalish ke khalish hai wahan mein bin tere? If it was used in a different kind of a context, uh -huh. with an acoustic guitar and just like a reprise. Absolutely. He came in. Uh -huh. He said, I want this song. Mm -hmm. and you have to sing it for me fabulous so i said you know what i w i don't want to go through the traditional route of putting down a track right then going into a dubbing booth and then singing over it right but i want to just do it live like what uh, kishor da used to do right. rafi saab used to do sure lata ji used to do right one take right and the song is over fantastic so that's how the song was done actually the guitar player was in the other room uh -huh. i was in one room and it was take and the length of the song was exactly the time it took to record the entire song <laughs> let's go to the um student of the year yeah now this one was again uh, one song like you know had a trajectory that just took off you know yeah, yeah. radha radha so tell me about this okay so basically um karan and us we like uh, when we he, when he told us we were doing his films we were like really really excited it's a karan johar film right now it's big and that was the first song to be recorded that was the first situation so there is there is this shaadi situation there are these three characters coming together right and now we need a hit song for this right right so now there is a kind of little pressure building up because the first song to be delivered and first song to be recorded actually and um so we were like what kind of zone sh should we go into should we go into a, like a modern kind of zone should we go into something which is more retro style should we like combine the two together what kind of feel should be work so we was working 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 and suddenly karan came up with this concept of ki wo 
राधा गोपी हाँ 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 का कुछ करना चाहिए कुछ इस्तेमाल करना चाहिए वी शुड डू समथिंग इन टू दैट राधा वॉन्ट्स मो यू नो सो ही केम अप विद दिस आइडिया ऑफ हाउ दिस होल लिरिकली द राधा वर्ड शुड कम राइट द गोपी एंड द राधा थिंक कम एंड देन वी केम अप विद दिस होल ट्रैक ऑफ यू नो राधा तेरी चुनरी ओ राधा तेरा छल्ला ओ राधा तेरी नटखट नजरिया ओ राधा तेरा ठुमका ओ राधा तेरा झुमका ओ पीछे पीछे सारी नजरिया शेखर यू आर सच अ गुड सिंगर इन एडिशन टू योर पॉपुलर सॉन्ग इन द बॉम्बे फिल्म इंडस्ट्री यू ऑल्सो वेंट अड एंड यू रिलीज्ड your own independent singles as well yeah. and one such beautiful melody of your composition and your rendering was sazni sazni what a beautiful piece it was tell me about that well i was going through and it was in marathi it was a marathi thing right. yeah a little story for you guys um about 2 to 1 and a half years back i've been in this industry 15 years now right and as an artist what happens is you get into a format of yes you're a music director yes you're a singer you get films you work on sound soundtracks you work on songs that becomes like one of those it becomes like a pattern in life mm-hmm. that you're sitting in the studio the director is coming giving you a brief mm-hmm. then you're making a song playing it to the director mm-hmm. waiting for an approval from the director mm-hmm. whether the director likes it or doesn't like it mm-hmm. then it goes ahead and then you then basically the whole process starts so it became like a pattern in my life and one day while sitting in a coffee shop i asked myself a question i was like shekhar when was the last time you composed a song for yourself mm-hmm. like you used to do earlier mm-hmm. before you recorded your first song mm-hmm. dil se mere was not reco- means made for pyar me kabhi mm-hmm. it was a composition i had which they had liked mm-hmm. and those were the compositions where there were no situations there was no director's approval mm-hmm. there was nothing behind it there used to be songs which used to come mm-hmm. just out of nowhere right and not every song has to go into a film not every mm-hmm. song has to mm-hmm. do that there's there's something which is mm-hmm. as a as an artist sometime you make a painting for yourself and just mm-hmm. feel happy when you see it mm-hmm. or you write your personal notes and you keep it yeah for yourself you right. don't always have to publish that mm-hmm. absolutely so i thought why don't i do something or can i do it i mean uh-huh. do, do i am i still capable enough to to take the microphone and put down my own stuff mm mm-hmm. can i get into a space where there's a certain kind of genre in my head yeah no mm-hmm. i want to get away from that space totally mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. otherwise it's like a film thing there's a dance genre there's a love song there's a sad song there's it's like a buffet it's like a variety right. which you create right. which is good right. which is good for that space mm-hmm. i wanted to find out whether can i find my own space yeah that's when i decided let me take the microphone mm-hmm. let me not think mm-hmm. let me not analyze let me not construct let me just sing whatever i feel like singing wonderful mm-hmm. so i did that mm-hmm. it became a tune it just mm-hmm. one long stretch from sadrani to the beginning of the mukhara till the end uh-huh. so i put that composition down mm-hmm. and i was like i don't want to do this in hindi mm-hmm. i've been doing hindi right let me choose a language which i which i kind of understand little yeah but i don't have the Uh, ability to speak it really well right so i chose marathi wonderful i don't speak marathi mm-hmm. i don't i can't i can just talk to the cops in bombay but <laughs> <laughs> otherwise i can't really talk <laughs> in marathi so i said let me try and work on something right so ravi jadhav actually who's the director of bal gandharva and natrang came to offer uh, us uh, balak palak a film called balak palak uh-huh. which basically be, he that was our first uh, vishal shekhar's first marathi film aha uh-huh. So he came walked in the studio I said uh, you know I'm looking for a Marathi lyricist so mm-hmm. if you have someone in mind mm-hmm. he said what 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 are you trying to do I said I'm p- putting a single out I just want to put like so he said can I hear the song mm-hmm. so he heard the song he fell in love with the song wow he said can you allow me to write because that will be my first song as a writer wow I've directed many big films uh-huh. national award winning, winning films like Bal Gandharva and Natrang but uh-huh. it'll The, allow me to move away from my space and get into something which i have never done before excellent uh-huh. like me mm-hmm. so both of us were on the same thing where he wrote the lyrics of it i composed it made a small little video sang it and uh, it it just went viral and people loved it all across the place just hum the first piece sazani 
नभत नभ दाटून आले कावरे मन हे झाले तू ये ना साजणी साजणी छळ तू माझा हा मृदगंध तुझ्या स्पर्शास मधुंद तू ये ना साजणी शेखर टेल मी अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ दॅट you know uh, getting your feet wet in a solid classical background how has it helped you in terms of relating to the popular music as well because you're very versatile you can do classical todi you could do a rock song you know uh, you could sing a classical song but you could be on stage performing my name is sheela tell me about being versatile learning indian classical music and getting into that genre was like a lifestyle mm mm-hmm. it's got discipline it's got lifestyle it's got mental peace right it's like doing yoga yeah it's like disconnecting with the world and making your own little world right so I'm, i was i'm very lucky that i got to experience that right i got to connect with my soul very right. closely right because when you sing when you sing a rag right. the notes only are such which actually right. take you to a different right. world altogether right it just makes you feel feel very close to god right It just makes you feel um the vibrations which you haven't felt before fantastic and feeling that at at the age of 17 18 for me mm-hmm. 19 for me was something else was something right. very different right and then musically the journey when when it started it actually got into such a zone that i came across many other kind of genres whether it was dance whether it was jazz but that was just uh, i started listening to a lot of music started educating myself i'm still educating myself i'm still learning stuff yesterday i actually downloaded a lot of uh, new albums i bought some albums from itunes and mm-hmm. i always keep myself educated about what's happening right now what what people are listening to i also want to f- find out if the new generation is listening to indian classical music i want to push that whole concept wonderful i'm very soon planning to start my own institute my own learning academy congratulations yeah so very soon i'm going to be uh, you know i've started discussing with people in india as well as abroad out mm-hmm. here in toronto i've been speaking to a few people wonderful and i want to start my own own school like a gurukul like the way yeah, my yeah. my khasa used to teach yeah, me yeah exactly like that oh well, that's fantastic exactly. so that the right kind of education goes out to people oh, that's fantastic and more than learning about music or doing something with music in your life yeah. it's more about finding your space connecting with your soul right and that's that's the experience i want people to have that's fantastic well entire community you know you don't need any introduction at all in the south asian community yeah. people from india pakistan bangladesh sri lanka east africa south africa west indies guyana and the caribbean you're a hero everybody yeah. knows you so well but those people who are not familiar of your roots in classical music in your early days it'll be wonderful if you just do the aro and aro and as they say for todi just the opening just the portion uh as to just the notes alone for todi raga what is what distinguishes todi raga this is what my khas have actually started with uh huh ke raag ki shuruaat kaise karte hain mm-hmm. todi ki shuruaat kaise hai ne da sa da ni da sa ma da ni da sa da li dra दुख हरो दलिद्र अब के बेर मो पे करम करो दलिद्र तुम दाता दो जहान हमरा बेड़ा पार करो So khasa wow my the first lesson my first lesson had this you know this is fabulous have you ever used your knowledge of your classical music in terms of having those roots in your composition to have a light classical piece for a film well in uh, ravan aha uh-huh. we got this opportunity to do like a thumri kind of a thing kyu na bole mo se mohan kyu he ruthe ruthe mohan कैसे कैसे सो लिटिल लिटिल थिंग्स वी कीप ऑन यूजिंग इन एवरी सिंगल सॉन्ग ऑफ आज जस्ट लिटिल चेंज और लिटिल 
difference, which something which takes to a little rock thing and then goes back to. That's fantastic. Because come uh, Bollywood music and you know getting this rock space has to be done very intelligently. It has Absolutely. to be incorporated very nicely without it being that. Okay, what's that? Subtle. You know? It has to be very very subtle. Yeah. But I'm so glad that uh, you know uh, people are still interested in Indian classical music. Oh, people absolutely. are still li listening to that. Yeah. Bollywood is big, and I'm I'm very happy and very privileged and honored to be a part of Bollywood. You're doing a tracing a history of 100 years of Indian cinema. The the music has played an incredibly important role in the yeah. development of cinema in yeah. India. Yeah. So you take a look at stalwarts like S. D. Burman, yeah. R. D. Burman, uh, Naushad. Yeah. And then, of course, the duos, when you start taking that historically, it's uh, Shankar Jaikishan, Kalyanji Ananji, Lakshmi, Lakshmi Gant Pyarilal, yeah. it's Vishal Shekhar now, yeah. you know, all over. <laughs> when you have that kind of an influence, uh, you have an incredible advantage that in those days, people were not really uh, that familiar going on stage. Yeah. They were all behind the scene, composers, yeah. performers, and it'll be the hero, heroine only. Yeah. Now there's a greater awareness. People now see you on stage and you are vibrant on stage. Yeah. You are dynamic. You capture the audience with your true spirit because you are the people who really compose. Nobody could be more passionate about delivering that. Yeah. Tell me about your live show experience in terms of stage. There was a time between the release of my first album which happened during 94, 95 and for about three years, that is before Pyar Me Kabhi Kabhi, uh -huh. when the album was out, I started touring. Uh -huh. So I was actually a performer before I got into composing music. Right. And during the same time, even Vishal started his own band. Pentagram. Pentagram, yeah. Right. So even he started performing. So both of us are quite comfortable with the whole stage space before we right. actually got into composing music for yeah. films. Right. So for us, there's not, nothing better than jumping on stage and just like going <laughs> crazy. That's wonderful. From there, we'll go to a slower number, but yeah. a very melodious, beautiful composition of yours. Yeah. That was done by Mohit Chohan. Uh, and Mohit was in the studio with us recently. Really and he okay. paid a big tribute to you, by the way. Yeah, he's, a, and he's a wonderful guy. And, and he sang that for us as well. Oh, really? And there's a Tuje Buladia. Tuje Buladia, yes. Just tell me about it. Anjana Anjani was, I think, our fourth film with Siddharth Anand. So we did Salam Namaste, we did Bashnaya Asino, we did um, Tararampam. Tararampam. Those right. three films, right. back to back, the music was very appreciated. And people were talking about Siddharth Anand, Vishal and Shekhar combination. Right. And when Anjana Anjani happened, Siddharth came to me and said, Shekhar, I just want you guys to just forget about what we've been doing in the last three films right. and break the rules. Right. Do something mm -hmm. totally, radically different. Mm -hmm. Surprise me. Right. He says, surprise me. Right. And we were like, okay. Siddharth is old school where it comes to the song compositions, something which I like. Right. I like old compositions, I right. love the old. He right. loves that thing. But what right. we did was we tried to give it a more electronic kind of a space to right. the entire thing, keeping the melody as Indian as possible, right. but doing something crazy with it. Sure. Uh, Tujhe Bula Diya, when we sat and made that song, it just had Kali Kali Khali Rato Se Hone Lagi Hai Dosti Beautiful. Tujhe Bula Diya तुझे बुला दिया हो फिर क्यों तेरी यादों ने मुझे रुला दिया हो so it only had that bit Beautiful. it only had that bit yeah. immediately we inserted a kawali section in the middle yes immediately mm -hmm. after that mm -hmm. तेरी यादों में लिखे जो लफ्ज़ देखे हैं सुनाई so it just got into a more energetic kind of more space more Sufism there. Sufism which right. went back into so we got to break structures we got to like not do the antra mukhda format right you know right right so anjana anjani was a soundtrack like that where and mohit when he came in and his voice my right. god it's right. unbelievable the most beautiful voice i've heard that's fantastic and he came and he sang that bit um, i was very honored to be a part of the vocals on uh, the kawali part yes yes and uh, shruti pathak sang the beginning the beautiful very beautiful voice, that intro that the intro is so beautiful so every there were like different parts so if you see yes there was Nena lagiya barisha. That was beautiful. There was one section, second yeah. was Kali Kali Khali Rato Se. And then the third section was Teri Aado. So again, it's got three mukhras actually, exactly. if you go to see together. Yeah. So that was a very uh, interesting soundtrack. And Anjana Anjani, even now, when people write to me on, uh, you know, on uh, platforms, yeah. on social network, networking yeah. platforms, they, they always tell me about uh, Anjana Anjani's soundtrack. 
The your, most loved soundtrack, I think. Your composition on Shruti Patek's that opening intro, oh, yeah, yeah. that gamak that you that she did that yeah, you used yeah, there in your composition yeah, yeah. was superb. Just do that portion for us. Naina lagiya barisha te sukhe sukhe sapne vipje gaye. Naina lagiya barisha te. So that that part is very beautiful. Beautiful, that, that beautiful. Was, there were like these three sections designed separately. You know, and then put together, and that's how the mukhra of the song happens before the music piece. I want you to watch what Mohit said about his feeling for this song oh. when he did this song for you. I oh, would love to. Okay, and he acknowledged you by the way. Oh, thank you. Know. You. you know, this so, song, uh, people just love it. You know, whenever I go for concerts, uh, whether it's university or it's a corporate show or you know it's a public show, it's a show in a stadium. Uh, the the chorus of the song. Yeah. Uh, most of the times I don't sing it. You know, I just yeah. sing the song when the yeah. chorus comes. I point the mic towards the audience, and yeah. everybody sings. Uh, and um, it's a song by Vishal Shekhar, uh -huh. and I think this is um, one of the most beautiful songs, actually, uh, from Anjana Anjani. Yeah. Again, Ranbir Kapoor right. uh, rendered the song, and uh, yeah, it's an amazing song. Absolutely, yeah. Talk of a song and analyzing a song. People just listen to a song for four minutes or five minutes on the air. They don't realize the true value become the intrinsic value and the beauty behind the music in terms of its composition, in terms of its rendering, in terms of the orchestration. And here is the portion that he talked about of using a Kawali type of a piece right in the middle. <laughs> now let's come back to another song which I discussed with uh, Vishal as well. Yeah. You know, this is the uh, the old song that you know the, the movie concept that was revived, the story of Silk Smita that was done by Vidya Balan yeah. as you know as a heroine. Yeah. And in this particular film, you know, you try to recreate the Oyama Oyama. You did a beautiful job, and that song became such a big hit, and and propelled that film to a big success. When Milan told us about the script of the film yeah. and what he was doing and the kind of slightly retro kind of space which actually if the Hima Malini and the, uh, you know Jitender Saab and yeah. we've, we've, we've actually grown up watching those films we've right. grown up with that sonic space of right. Indian music which yeah. used to be there earlier yeah big orchestration yeah the reason why I'm asking you yeah. this in retrospect when we now look at 100 years of Indian cinema yeah you know a lot of these the younger generation may not even remember that yeah. some of these and you tremendously revived some of that so that the music itself gave a lot of nostalgic memories. Yeah. That was again a very challenging space because you've, we've heard those kind of really old, like right. 55, 58, right. 1960s right. kind of music which right. used to be there. And here in Dirty Picture, we got a chance to like revive what 1980s right. was right. like. Right, right. You know, those big orchestrations and then, right. you know, the patterns, the rhythm patterns. Right, right. Uh, getting in about 130, 140 musicians together. Right. Because now in the whole new age of uh, how things work is that right. there's, there's one programmer and there are like two or three instruments which are just added on top of that. That's fantastic. So we had that whole Himmatwala kind of zone. Right, right. But with that also we had the whole disco zone of right. uh, Mithunda's, uh, right. you know, all the films. Right. So if you're the second music of that, yeah. it's got that little disco kind of vibe. God bless you. And I'm sure that the public would be looking forward to many years of you know, superb hits coming from both of you. Can what? I say something? Yeah. I feel really honored and privileged to be here on this show. Oh. Really honored because the thing is, um, these are dreams actually. I go to many, many studios all across the place, but this is a dream which I'm seeing. Oh, wow. you know, when I entered this place, when I saw your entire presentation, the feel of the place, I think it's magic. It's awfully nice of you. It's and it's been an absolute pleasure having you in the program with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And we'd love to have you back very, very soon. Thank you. Thank you.